Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this session, we'll discuss about how to prepare a statement of change of working capital. This is an integral part of fund flow statement. Whenever we prepare fund flow statement, we have to prepare statement of change of working capital and fund from operation prior to the preparation of fund flow statement. Now in our last session we have already discussed how to prepare or how to calculate fund from operation. Here we'll prepare a schedule for change of working capital. Now this preparation would be done on the basis like whenever there is increase in current asset it would be accounted as increase in working capital. Decrease in current asset would be decrease in working capital. For current liabilities if there is increase the working capital decreases if there is decrease of current liability that means working capital increases. It is simple to understand if we know that net working capital is the difference between current liability and current asset or we can say that it is excess of current asset over current liabilities. So whenever there is increase in current asset the working capital increases decrease in current asset leads to decrease in working capital but when current liability increases the working capital decreases and when it increases then decreases then working capital increases so first of all we'll prepare a schedule a format on which we'll uh, post all this data so let us begin so let us prepare this one Particulars. year 2002-2003 change working capital increase here we write decrease So this would be our format. First of all, let's start with the current assets. So we write cash in hand. Amount for 2000 to 15,000. So there is decrease in current asset. And decrease in current asset leads to decrease in working capital. Uh, here I would write uh, if there is confusion you can refer to this one. Increase in current asset means increase in working capital. Dec Decrease in current asset means decrease in working capital, increase in current liability means decrease in 
working capital decrease in current liability means increase in working capital so you can refer to these uh, whenever you feel mm, means whenever you get confused you can refer to these so let's move on to the next element next item cash at bank the amount was 10,000 and 8,000 so there is again a decrease so decrease in current asset would lead to decrease in working capital so just put 2000 then debtors we put the amount increase in current asset means increase in working capital so amount is the difference between them stock we have 77,002,109 so there is again an increase in working capital so here are the difference is 32,000 now we come to the next element that is bills receivable the amount was 20,000 and 30,000 so again there is an increase in current asset that means there is increase in working capital so one thing I would like to do it here is to write here current assets and we'll total the amount total we call this column rather row total of A so we just sum the whole amount Let's just mark these. Okay, now we move to current liabilities. current liabilities we have creditors amount was 55,000 and 83,000 so there is an increase in current liability that means there is decrease in working capital so we just note down the difference next we have bills payable The amount was twenty thousand and sixteen thousand. Uh, here we have decrease in current liability, that means it would be increase in working capital. Next we have share capital, but it is not part of your current liability general reserve and debentures um, both are non-current liabilities so we'll not incorporate them so we'll just total the amount we'll just add the amount
now we'll calculate the working capital for the true years that is the difference between row A and row B just block these also differences noted here so this is the working capital for the two years now we write increase in working capital we can see the increase just note down the difference okay should have been 15,000 51,000 I mean so we will have to look for some errors means something like we haven't posted the right amount for a particular item maybe so we'll just check okay here the debtors were two lakhs so the amount is 51,000 the difference here should have been 40,000 then okay I did it because I know that I means knew the answer uh, otherwise you have to uh, means uh, check for it like uh, whether you have made any mistake or not so the next thing what we have to do is we need to write 51,000 here also there is decrease in working capital so write 51,000 here and uh, we'll add these both columns so some would be same in both the cases so this is how we prepare my statement for working capital and uh, we'll use this uh, in our calculation for fund flow statement so we'll continue with our fund flow statement preparation in our later videos hope this video helps Thank you for watching this video.